Hello, fantastic artists. Today we're going to do a super fun project on photobombing llamas. So I need to take a moment and show you guys how we're going to draw the face of our llama, do some cool patterns on the llama scarf, and then also make sure that we have the background, the mountains, and the clouds behind our llama drawn as well. So with a pencil, the first thing that we're going to do is draw the llama's face. So I would like for you to try and draw your best triangle about halfway down on our llama face. We need to have our triangle nose. And then if we think about drawing the letter W underneath our llama nose, that will be a good way for us to draw the mouth. And we can even add another kind of U-looking line below that so that it looks like our llama is smiling. For the eyes, uh, draw two circles above the nose. And then, of course, we need our circle in the inside for our pupils. And then... We can also add some eyelashes and eyelids. To do the eyelids, we can come up and around the top of our eye circle. Up and around, kind of like a rainbow. And then if you'd like to make maybe a girl llama, uh, you can put some eyelashes on. Looks super cute. Let's not forget about our eyebrows. So just draw kind of two, also little kind of rainbow shapes above the eyes. And then we also need a big U that goes from the bottom of our eyes all the way below the mouth and connects again up near the other eye. So that's the basic parts of the face. Llamas are really, really wooly and furry. So if you want to, you can kind of draw like a cloud kind of, kind of shape at the top and that will represent the fur. And we can also kind of do that in a few other spots, kind of make some W looking lines for the fur. And we're almost done with the face, friends. We need to draw an inside line for our ear. And now we have all of the basic shapes for our face. I will give you a black marker so you can trace all of your pencil lines when we're done because we'll need to fill in the nose and the mouth and a few of those other details. Okay, for the background we're going to pretend like we're at Machu Picchu. So Machu Picchu is a place in Peru where there are all these fantastic mountains. So to do our mountains we first need to start with our clouds. So I would draw some clouds Maybe, I would say three could be a good number, but you can decide however many you'd like. I think I'll do two on mine. And then what we'll do is come up and over so that we can have some super neat Peruvian mountains in the back. So once we have the mountains and the clouds... We'll go ahead and also draw a line near the bottom of our llama face that will represent the ground where the llama is sitting. And the last thing that we have is just to do some fun uh, patterns in our llama scarf. So the Inca people who live in Peru are really well known for their fantastic patterns in their fabric. So I'll let you guys decide some different kinds of shapes that you would like to be on your scarf, but keep in mind that a pattern is something that repeats. So on my other example, I kind of did a line with three circles, and then a U kind of shape in the middle, and then a line with three circles again, and it kept repeating. So it follows the same pattern. So if I do the same thing over here, I've got some stripes with some circles, stripe, circle. You can choose the shapes and the lines that you would like for your pattern though. Okay, so once we have the face, 
and the mountains and the clouds and our scarf pattern you will be ready to take your marker just like mine and you will trace right on top of what you already have that's called outlining so don't forget to color in just the nose the pupils and the mouth gets all colored in otherwise you are tracing 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 over what you have we'll pretend that that's already colored in all the way so just like this this is outlining all of our pencil lines okay can't wait to see your llamas